because sometimes we gravitate towards hurt, loss, and those kind of experiences versus what it is we truly desire. Because part of it is that if we actually get what we desire, that's scary. Because we often gravitate to, towards people that actually don't have our desire. Hey guys, I just got ready for the day. I'm sure I like this background because my kids were left the, the room a mess, but we are in Denver traveling and just hanging out really. And so I'm thinking that we're going to go back home tomorrow. We'll see. But I wanted to share. Okay, I just wanted to do a video real quick because my partner actually or took our kids to um, an arcade thing and so I had a, a little moment to get ready by myself in peace and quiet, which I'm so grateful for. That's so nice of him because I value <laughs> getting ready in peace and quiet. So that was really, really special for him to, to do for me. But I wanted to talk about this concept, right? So I saw a video of a, it was a TikTok of a lady saying, listen up ladies. Um, she said something along the lines of never trusting a man, always having your own and to, to be independent even when you're in a relationship and things like that, which I honor and I respect. However, you know, you, when you read the comments, you could see there were different schools of thought on it. Like there was a lot of women that's like, I've been married for 27 years and, you know, I stayed home with my kids and my man, my husband never disrespected me. He honors me and things like that. And then you have other people that like, yeah, I will never trust a man ever again and things like that. And I can understand, I can understand both schools of thought, right? But you have to understand and this is where I had to learn quickly is that you have to, you want to learn from someone that has what you have, not ha that has experienced failures and the same kind of failures that you have. Because one of the things that I realized that I was doing when I was like um, trying to get information and learn and things like that is that I was learning from people that were not married, that were not successful in relationships, and that kind of thing. And so this dating coach that was giving this advice, this get dating coach that was giving advice about, you know, this, that, and the other, she was not married, she didn't have a successful relationship, and so you have to look at where the this is coming from because if advice and information is coming from a place of hurt, if it's coming from a place of loss, if it's coming from a place of um, learn from my mistakes, that's probably not the, the information that you want to, to have. Like for me, like I said, I, I was like, oh, I'm going to learn from other people's mistakes, right? I'm going to learn, a, they encountered this, so I'm going to learn from them and listen to them. Instead of me, like she has everything that I want. She has a successful marriage. She has a beautiful family. She has a, a um, she looks happy and, you know, she has a provider, a man that loves her and is taking care of her. And she looks like she, you know, she's wealthy and rich and all of these things that I desire for my life. I'm going to listen to her because she's giving me the tea, the true tea on life instead of like learning from someone's failures. Because what they still don't have what they, they want or they desire or what I want or desire. So why I'm. Why am I going to be like, well, let me learn from your mistakes, but you still don't have the life that I desire. That doesn't make any logical sense. And I understand, like, if we, if we come from a place of like, I made this mistake, but we still haven't learned the lesson of doing the right thing, then we still need to learn ourselves. And so that's where I had to learn. I'm like, okay, she made that mistake. She learned some things from that mistake, but has she shifted to 
really have what she really wants because I I can learn from your mistakes but I still want to get somewhere I'm trying to move forward in my life and so that's where like you really have to look at and so speaking of I actually um, was going through some things like it was it was an interesting this this last day has been an interesting thing and I felt it was a it was an interesting feeling because I felt like I was out of alignment I was not I just wasn't in alignment something a lot of things were just in my life that I was like what is going on what something has and I, I know that my life is a reflection of my consciousness and so I'm like what is going on so instead of me just being frustrated with life and that kind of thing I like took a step back and um, I was like what do I need to do to get back in alignment so I wanted to share um, if you do not know, we created FEM, the FEM Activation Daily Evaluation FAD, and this is a great tool to help you get back in alignment. You know, I talk about the act, your uh, feminine energy activities and uh, tapping into your feminine energy and tapping into your feminine feminine energy, and so I did it today from. I did it today from what I experienced yesterday to see where I was at energetically and what, where I was out of alignment and things like that. And so part of doing this evaluation is that you're supposed to have a blackout. Like this is supposed to be a blackout. And as you can see, <laughs> according to the evaluation, I definitely had some deficiencies, right? And so... It just is a great tool to see where I was out of balance and not in alignment and where I could really work on my on activating more of my feminine energy and being and getting more into alignment. And so I as you can see, there's a lot of white, right? <laughs> and so it's just a great guide for me to see. Okay, I did well here. I allowed others to support me yesterday, but as far as like play and these these kind of things, I could see, okay, I wasn't I wasn't in alignment. I wasn't tapping into my feminine energy. And therefore, you know, that day probably was a manifestation of some days prior. But it's just a great gauge for me to see, okay, where I can work on in my daily uh, routines in my daily life what things I can work on and so when it comes to the blackout too I do want to explain this and this is part of the intro to uh, feminine energy in your hormones this is part of that bundle you can actually get this separate as a great resource for that audio tutorial and understanding your hormones and your behaviors and your activities and how it affects your hormones and so this is a great resource, uh, a great tool to accompany that. So it's part of that bundle too, or you can get a separate. But part of like being in the blackout, being in blackout, it's when it comes to the yin and the yang, that symbol, right? The feminine energy aspect of that is the black part, it's the darkness. And so we want to have a blackout. We want to have that darkness there. And as you can see... I, was, I didn't do that well. So, you know, it's interesting. Um, you know, I just had to, the, the today was a, a reflection because I realized that I actually wasn't honoring what I truly desired. My, I wasn't honoring my desires. I was kind of, and I, I, I that's a lesson that keeps coming up in my life is that truly honoring what it is that I desire instead of like half assing it right like half doing it you know somewhat doing it no fully owning my desire and honoring it right so that was that was kind of the lesson that I learned today is that um and that and that goes online too with actually learning and um listening to people that have your desire you know like not people that don't have your desire <laughs> like and that's often what we do is we often gravitate to, towards people that 
actually don't have our desires. Now, if you look at a lot of people that are giving relationship and dating advice, they are not in a successful relationship themselves. And there's not there's nothing to, there's nothing wrong with that either because obviously life is a transition and so you're transitioning, right? And you're growing and evolving. But if you never had a successful relationship, if you are constantly single and you're giving people relationship advice, we got to look at that too. And so it's not to judge that, but you have to be cognizant of where you're getting your information from. Do they have your desire? Because sometimes we gravitate towards hurt, loss, and those kind of experiences versus what it is we truly desire. Because part of it is that if we actually get what we desire, that's scary. That's scary. And a lot of things come up. And so sometimes, a lot of times, not sometimes, but a lot of times we gravitate towards loss, you know, staying in a certain energetic state in which we don't want to be in logically, but it feels familiar. It feels good. It feels familiar. So we stay there and we get our advice from that perspective instead of looking to towards what it is we truly desire and getting advice and information from that perspective, right? So that's really, really important is like, okay, desire. Holding to your desire. Now I talk about holding your boundaries and standards, but part of that is holding your desire, holding to it. And that's a lesson I had to learn and that's why I'm here right now is actually holding to what it is I truly desire instead of like half-assing it and like well maybe I'm worthy of it maybe I'm worthy of a little bit of it or may like dipping my toe in it a little bit but what is it that I truly desire and and its fullness and owning it and owning it right so what is it so ask yourself what is it that you desire and when you are Starting down the journey, uh, you know, down the path of really going down that, that road of desire, look to people and advice and engage with life that is in that realm, that is in that dimension of your desire instead of the opposite because you're going to stay in that energetic realm, dimension, whatever you want to say that energy of loss, brokenness, you know, not having it, that kind of thing, lack, and set, look towards the abundance, where it is and where you can feel that desire, okay? I hope that makes sense because it's truly important that we look towards and engage with our desire, not the lack thereof, okay? So I just wanted to share that video real quick, you guys. Um, that was really on my mind, especially after I did my daily uh, evaluation, which you can find at AmberMarieTurner.com. I was like, oh, okay, Amber, you've got some things to work on. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace.